How do CSPs ensure their networks are application-centric and meet the real-world needs of their customers? Vicky, welcome to Telecom TV. Thanks for joining us. We're here at The Hague um, at the SDN NFE World Congress. Where does SDN and NFE fit into Verizon's strategy for supporting its business customers? Well, you know, our business customers are really looking to deliver agile enterprises uh, to their infrastructure teams because ultimately they have to deliver agile applications um, and, and applications that are dynamic and can be supported uh, and manage the change happening in a business. So we need SDN technologies to deliver on those types of business outcomes that customers need. I got to separate the control and the data layer so I can have that flexibility and not be bound by solutions that are um, clunky and, and difficult difficult to deploy in a very fast manner and difficult to change when a customer needs to make a change. And what about NFV infrastructure, NFVI? Is this a, an essential prerequisite now for telcos to have in place? You know, it is. Our customers uh, don't typically purchase a single function and they need functions that are integrated with one another and integrated to the whole stack that's necessary to support a service chain. And when I talk about a stack, I'm, I'm referring to the fact that uh, these functions have to be attached to deployment models, like a piece of hardware at the edge, a uh, universal CPE, or maybe a, maybe a deployment model in a cloud, and they need to be attached to networks. Uh, and the challenge with NFEI right now is that uh, it's difficult to test all those various points of interaction that are necessary to deliver a complete service. So a firewall isn't a service by itself, but a, a, a managed uh, network solution that has a secure component is a service. And those that solution requires firewalls, networks, deployment models, and routing. And is this challenge around the testing, is this, is this something that, that befalls telcos and CSPs to do, or would you rather Everything is, is, is pre-tested, pre-validated by the vendor community beforehand. Yeah, today you know, we have to test that ourselves because it's very difficult to have our partners come to the table uh, with those, that testing pre-integrated. Uh, that would be ideal, and we're, we're asking our partners to do that. Um, but the reality, too, is that we have to integrate those functions with our own OSS and BSS architectures, uh, because I still have my own incident management systems and tools, for example, that are necessary to deliver that complete service to the customer. Um, so I think we have to have a middle ground so we can deploy these solutions in the industry more quickly that says some functions we test in advance, you know, and other functions might be specific to the carrier's particular implementation of the solution. We like talking about technology in this industry, but it's, it's, it's always a means to an end. W will NFVI enable CSPs to transform their business models? Will they be able to therefore deploy um, network as a service offering or platform as a service offering? I mean, that's the goal, right? So the, 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 the grail for us used to be delivering applications to the customer in a way that we could measure the business outcomes. We've actually moved the bar um, because we're delivering on that solution using NFE today. We're, we're moving that to a user context and ultimately to a transaction context. So once we can actually guarantee the performance of a customer at a transaction level, uh, we've really reached the, the end point of that solution to deliver uh, customers the ultimate experience that they want to pay for. In your keynote today, you, you talked about orchestrating the business need. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, my customers aren't asking me to deliver solutions that have X amount of jitter or Y amount of latency. They want to know that they can get their store up in 24 hours and they can get their credit card applications working and available in that time too. So, you know, that's the real business need. Maybe they're trying to segment their networks because they're a company that does a lot of acquisitions or, or divestitures and they need to be able to do that very quickly. Um, and those types of things used to take months and months of planning and then execution, but we're doing those types of uh, th those types of activities in a, a weekend or a night, and um, that allows a customer to be bit, to be uh, agile in their infrastructure, and that's how they deliver those kinds of business outcomes to their their users, their customers, their stockholders. 
And you spoke earlier about the, the edge. Um, it's a very diverse place, the edge. How important is it that the industry as a whole, um, the telcos, the vendors, the whole, the whole ecosystem comes together in order to accelerate our efforts um, to reach and monetize the edge potential? Yeah, I think you know, we have a lot of different definitions of what the edge is. Um, sometimes the edge is at the customer site, sometimes the edge is where the mobile edge computing platforms will be deployed to support mostly 5G. And you know, so I think what happens at the edge is what's changing. Do you have to have the cloud and the mech part of the edge, or do you have to have the cloud, which is really part of NFV? AI as well at the customer edge. So, you know, these edges and where the computing happens versus the processing, you know, it, it will continue to evolve, I think, as we figure these solutions out, particularly as we move much more quickly into IoT applications. A final question for you. Is, is, is all this effort we're, we're seeing and all this transformational effort, is it making CSPs become more open, and I'm not just talking about open networking or technology, but their approach and their, 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 their mindset. Yeah, we have to share a lot more maybe than we used to because we recognize that um, our core capabilities aren't necessarily to build every tool set um, and every type of integration and orchestration um, that we may need to support the ultimate end-to-end -end service. So in order to deliver an integrated service offering, we're, we have to work with partners and we rely on best in breed companies you know, to help us fill out the, those gaps. Um, and then our IP is to integrate them very, very tightly. And you know, so I think we have to evolve and share more uh, with, this, with the community about what we need um, and let the community respond. Um, and we have to be open to about different types of standards we may choose to deploy and when we choose not to, that, we, that we're clear about why we might have to take a different direction. Great, well Vicky, thank you very much for joining us on Telecom TV. Thanks for having me.